Our patented levothyroxine and or quetiapine RTMS combination treatment is the best treatment ever designed based on genetics to treat mitochondria in bipolar disorders. The mitochondria are the organ which generate energy for the cells. Mood disorders, particularly bipolar disorders, were shown to present with mitochondrial dysfunction. Many studies have shown that. We have discovered the reason why the mitochondria are dysfunctional in this population. This may well be because such patients have a genetic anomaly with an inability to efficiently transport and or activate thyroid hormone in the brain. This phenomenon responds very well to treatment with high doses of thyroid hormones when combined with RTMS. Levothyroxine added to mood stabilizers improved symptoms but did not give full recovery in rapid cycling and quetiapine added to mood stabilizers failed to give full recovery of sub-threshold symptoms in bipolar 1 and 2. We are not aware of any study showing full recovery in rapid cycling or sub-threshold symptoms apart from our two studies. Many studies both by us and others have shown that high doses of thyroid typically give very few if any side effects. This assertion is supported by two randomized controlled trials and a large number of longitudinal studies. Ours, however, led to full recovery. The other studies, however, did not show full recovery with thyroid hormones added to mood stabilizers. How do thyroid and RTMS work together to produce recovery in bipolar disorders? We published two cohorts, one of 20 patients and one of 55 patients. These patients did extremely well with levothyroxine combined with RTMS, with a sustained full recovery rate of 96.4% at the end of two years' observation. 58% of the patients needed only levothyroxine in the long run. Drug regimens were trimmed down. The average number of drugs that these patients take is 1.8 drugs compared to 3.8 drugs for the average outpatient with bipolar disorder and a recovery rate of 42%. We measured improvement using the Xi'an Disability Scale, a common test used by the World Health Organization to assess disease burden across the globe. Side effect burden was minimal. Our patients had an average disability of 7.32 out of 10 before treatment similar to the WHO rate found across 15 countries. After treatment, 33% ended up with a disability of zero, and the average disability in our patients was 1.28 out of 10. We used a statistical analysis called the effect size when we evaluated disability. This is a way to measure how effective a treatment is rather than whether it's effective or not. Our effect size was 2.6, a massive effect. This compares to 0.3 with antidepressants and 0.4 for CBT in treating depression and 1.1 with quetiapine in bipolar depression. We not only look at the illness itself but the side effect burden of the illness as well. The way that treatment works is that high doses of thyroid hormone induce mitochondrial genesis in other words, it creates new mitochondria. It also makes the mitochondria work much more effectively, burning more oxygen and glucose to produce energy for the cell. RTMS induces what we call neuroplasticity, in other words, nerve cell repair and regrowth. This means that the neuronal ends grow. This establishes better connections with other neurons, enhancing their function as a whole and giving long, stable recovery. For this to happen, the mitochondria travel up and down the neuronal axons, producing the energy to grow the microtubules and actin filaments like a scaffolding growing the axons and dendrites. Bipolar 1 patients typically will require lithium and, if there is a history of psychosis, may require an antipsychotic. Bipolar 2 patients tend to do well only with thyroid and RTMS with very few cases requiring other medications. Subthreshold bipolar disorder, or unspecified bipolar disorder, the commonest and equally severe form in terms of depression, particularly in younger people, 
requires, as a rule, levothyroxine and no other treatment other than RTMS. The beauty of this treatment is that the side effects are minimal and if people develop side effects, we simply reduce the doses, wait a bit until they subside and restart. We work with a team of cardiology and endocrinology, as well as other physicians, to ensure the safety and effectiveness of the treatment. Thyroid RTMS combination is a wonderful treatment for people who have needlessly suffered for many years. Typically, our patients have had a disease duration of an average of 10 years, and typically have failed to respond to almost everything by the time they come to us. We strive to achieve complete and full recovery with no symptoms or side effects, which is known as remission, and a great quality of life of our patients.